sleep. How about looking for something fun to do? Take a walk on the wild side and explore your darker desires? Then a visit to the Kit Kat Club is just what you need. My Madame and Heaven, Madame and Monsieur, ladies and gentlemen, good night, bonsoir, good evening, Vigate, como será? Do you feel good? Yeah. I bet you do. It's been all I can foresee, it's just reports for our company. I am your host, Stun Sagan, feel calm and bienvenue. Welcome in Cabaret, oh Cabaret, to Cabaret. Oh we welcome the stars of Portland Center Stage's production of Cabaret, Wade McCollum and Storm Large. Good Hi. to have you guys. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thanks for getting up so early to be yes. with us. Yes. I know it's tough. I know, we really would like it if you were actually PM Northwest, but that's <laughs> yeah, okay. We, we understand. We'll, we, we love the show, so. This is going to be an incredible show. We've seen the clips. It just looks fantastic. It's an adult show. Yes. Right? So why don't, you, why don't you start telling us about the characters? You're the MC, mm -hmm. right? And you're Sally, is it Sally Bowles? Sally Bowles. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah. So tell us about the story for folks who haven't heard about Cabaret before. Yeah, it's the classic story of Cabaret. There's differences, you know, between the movie version and the Broadway And the movie version, version Liza Minnelli, Joel Grey. Yeah, and, and she happens to be American in the film. Liza Minnelli portrayed her as an American. She's written as an English woman, so that's one main difference, is oh. that Sally Bowles is actually English. Um, and the MC is that enigmatic songster who kind of weaves the play together and we don't really know where he's from. And, and this takes place in Germany, right? In Berlin. In Berlin, yeah. yeah. And, and, and at the time of World War II. Um, right before. It's about 1932, 33. Kristallnacht hasn't happened. Um, Hitler's about to win the election and the Nazis and the Social Democrats and the Socialists are all vying for power, but it's all, it's really, really a horrible there, there's time. A, but there's a lot of politics in the show, isn't there? Um, it, it, it's, it, it's a dirty undercurrent. You kind of know what's going on, um, but it's kind of the story of these people who are like, no, 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 don't look over there, look over here, look at the beautiful girls, and let's drink and party, and ooh, and let's have fun while there's real evil yeah. seeping in to the world. So. Yeah, it's really a human story. It really tells the story of the humans and kind of their emotional lives throughout the kind of hardship and the politics of the time. Yeah. Now, Storm, we know, you, we know you're a singer, you have the band, you've been on Rockstar Supernova, now everybody knows you here. But I'm curious, have you acted before? I did. I actually went to acting school, but oh. that's where I decided to be a musician because I, I didn't like actors. <laughs> And how do you feel about Wade? Be honest. I love Wade. We share a dressing room and we just laugh and we have fun. And I'm, I'm loving this now. I think I, it's. I think it was a level of maturity. Yeah. I was 19 in acting school. I was a horrible actor and I was really crazy. Just wanted to party. And, um, but I, I was really tentative to take this job because of that. But and I really am enjoying it now. I love it and I love the, the everybody in the cast is just amazing. Well, what about being under the direction of Chris Coleman? He seems like he'd be an incredible director. Oh, he's he's a yummy human being. I love him. I love him. Uh, and and you, you've got the actor lingo down. A yummy human being. That's, that's <laughs> very. That's you got it. I know that's okay. very Meisner. <laughs> he's got, but now, uh, but what you does know, this person taste like? You, <laughs> You brought a, your your rock and roll to the show. You brought you brought your own flair to this character. I hope so. I, I I think it's a good thing that I haven't ever watched the show. I've never seen the play. I've ne I never really saw the movie. I've seen it. Works. I've seen snippets of it right. because it's so kind of Liza right Minnelli's. Right. Yeah. Thing. And, yeah. And you I've told me uh, you told me earlier that you don't you haven't read reviews, so you oh, really have no idea what people are saying. But I'll tell you that. One of the things they're talking about is that rock and roll edge to it, that, that energy that you guys bring to the show. It's a little bit different than what people might otherwise expect. Well, the Kit Kat Club, in essence, was a rock club of its day. It mm -hmm. was people, it was like Dante's, you know, people go there and it's dirty and it's dark and you're not thinking about what's going on outside, you're there to escape. And so it's kind of a punk rock strip club. And jazz was blooming in Berlin in the 30s. It was really kind of on the forefront in front of the wave of the music revolution. So it was kind of the rock and roll, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, wait, I've seen you in a number of productions. You're a fantastic actor, by the way. Fantastic. And you're always very physical. Are you physical in this role as well? Yes, I get to dance and it's great. And Joel Farrell choreographed it and he's brilliant. Oh, yeah. And he's actually worked with the man who originally choreographed Cabaret on Broadway originally in 1966 and so he has a really cool grasp of the kind of the 
absolute original vision of the choreography, and he infused this production with kind of an original concept. Now, are, are you one of those Beautiful. actors that keeps the character going after you're off stage? Maybe I should have Storm answer that. Does does he do that? No, <laughs> no, no. We we actually talked about it because I'm. You know, this whole acting thing is new to me. I'm like, sometimes I'm on stage and I'm hungry and I'm thinking about what's in my fridge at home. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> and but we don't, you know, That's we don't. That's funny. We do the same no, thing. Yeah. But we don't come off stage and and you know, I'm still this. I mean, sometimes if it's a very emotional scene, yeah. you're kind of yeah, you gotta kind of get over it. But um. Well, I'm wondering, emotions are real. You, you're taking stuff off stage here. Wade, you have something on your arm you're a little concerned <laughs> I know. about. Why don't, why don't you tell the folks at home? Well, the, Share the secret. Part of the decadence of the Kit Kat Club and these clubs in the 30s was lots of drugs. Yeah. There was lots of lots of drugs and used as kind of a, a tool to escape what was going on outside the door of the club. Um, and so <laughs> the, the MC is a, is a heroin user. And so I, <laughs> I progressively get more and more bruised throughout the show. And so you bruise yourself, <laughs> and you're thinking, yeah. oh, the AM Northwest audience is going to think I'm a heroin <laughs> addict. I know. I know. I was like, it's, oh, it's, no. uh, it's eyeshadow. So, and, and he's just like, <laughs> oh, I forgot to take this off. <laughs> it's hard to get off. You know? <laughs> and, and the audience, is the audience, they play a big role in this show? For you, you, they do. You get they a lot do. Out of them? Well, because we're not pretending to be in a club. The, the, the whole theater turns into a club, right. basically. Yeah. And they, if you're in the front couple of rows, you, you get... You get an eyeful, oh, yeah. face well, It rev- is an adult show. It is folks. an adult show, yes. but the reviews are great. They're, they're, I mean, the, the raves about you guys are just Can't spectacular. So them. one day, read those, Storm. You'll enjoy the reviews. Yes. Later. Do it so later. People, some we're, people read them to me. So okay. We so. want to tell folks that you can catch Cabaret at Portland Center Stage in the Girding Theater. It runs through November 4th. For tickets, give them a call, 503-445-3700. It's going so well. In fact, you've extended the run of the show, so mm-hmm. that should be fun. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you much for you. having us. All right, don't be afraid uh, or too quick to pack away your summer favorites. Coming up next on AM Northwest, we'll show you how.